Hello from St. Joseph's. We are now in the middle of the summer and I thought it'd be a good time to catch up with everyone and kind of tell you some of the things that are going on. This is the first summer that I haven't had to prepare a house because every year we've had to buy a new house or at least last year, when we finally had this built, we still had to fill it and outfit it. This is the first year we didn't have that and the first real summer that we had here on campus. And I thought that I would enjoy a fair amount of silence and that things would be sort of quieted down and I could give myself over a bit more to the, uh, to the contemplative life, and relaxation, etc. And I have to say it's been quite surprising, but pleasantly so, because I hadn't put all the pieces together all at once in my mind how much would be happening here over the summer. So as soon as the summer began, we had a number of events that took place. And the first one was we brought all the seminarians here for a seminarian retreat. And then we begin various things and projects. So not only do we have the St. Joseph workers who are here, who are doing both work on campus as well as off campus in various aspects of manual labor. You can see, for example, the trees that are down here. They didn't knock them down. We had someone else do that for safety's sake, but they're gonna chop them up because we're building a barn here. And uh, that's one of the projects in the future that we've got going. So the St. Joseph workers are here, but also we had the Spanish immersion. Last year, because of COVID, we didn't have a way to send our men to learn Spanish in a South American or Central American country. So we created our own immersion experience here. And it was successful such that we wanted to do it again. In addition to that, we had Kovati Days, which as many of you know, is a time of discernment for young men ages 14, 15, up to 19, that are considering how do I approach my vocation? How do I discern whether God wants me to be a priest. In the midst of all this, personally, uh, in addition to sort of attempting to get ready for next year and organize things that need to be done, I'm also working on a small project myself. Last year in the Diocese of Charlotte, we had kicked off the year of St. Joseph, and I think that the Vatican caught wind of what we did, and then they began to have a universal year of St. Joseph um, for the entire church. So I'm taking advantage of that and responding to a request from our local wonderful Catholic publisher, Tan Books, to write a book about St. Joseph. So I'm attempting to step back a little bit and take some time this summer uh, to consider what Joseph saw and attempt to see along his eyes Our Lady and Our Lord that he had care of and attempt to become a better rector here for these men. So moving from June to July, things actually will calm down a bit. The St. Joseph workers will still be here, but a number of us will be taking some time off and some time to relax ourselves. In addition to that, of course, our young men are gonna be preparing to go on to their next stage, all of our graduates. Finally, at the end of July, we'll have Verum Sapiencia, which if you don't know about that, is a program that was begun here many years ago by our own Magistra and uh, Father Jason Brown and some others. They have a, a Latin institute that is now working with a number of different entities to be able to teach Latin as a living language in accordance with the uh, mind of the church. And then of course, we have to get ready for the Foxtrots. The new class is being accepted as we speak, and it looks to be about the same size as every year we've had. So as far as the capital campaign itself goes, we are just about $300,000 shy of that $20 million goal. We've been working on this for a long time, all of us together for almost five years, six years now. And for all of you who have participated in that and helped create this for these men, I'm most grateful. Thank you for that. So for all of you who have given to our annual campaign, I'm very grateful to you. For those of you uh, who would still like to do so, it's very simple to do. You can send a check directly to the seminary, or you can just jump online at St. Joseph College Seminary and make a donation there. In addition, this fall, we hope to see you here. You can come anytime you want, give us a call. We'd love to have you come for a visit. Um, but we'll try to have another open house this fall. Last year, we did it for the first time because the building was new and the response was overwhelming. So we'll do that again this year and hope to see you anytime you want to come, but also in particular at the open house this fall. Have a blessed summer.